this video, we will download and install JDK and Eclipse and set up Eclipse to run our very first code. Let's start by downloading JDK. For this, you can search JDK on Google and uh, click on the very first link. Or you can directly go to the download link by clicking on the link given in the description. The link that is given in the description will redirect you to this page. On this page, select accept license agreement and then select the versions of JDK according to your machine. I will go with Windows 64 bit. While it is downloading, let's download the setup file of Eclipse. The direct download link of Eclipse is also given in the description. On this page, on the right hand side of the page, you will see some download links. Here again select the option according to your system. Mine is Windows 64 so I will select this Windows 64 bit. Now click this download button to start downloading Eclipse. While these two things are downloaded on my systems, let me tell you some interesting facts about Java. The code that you write on Java is saved in the format of bytecodes and they are independent of the machines on which they are run. When you save them, when they are run on the, on the machines, it is the task of the JVM to convert that bytecode into machine code. So the code that you are writing is platform independent in this case. And by the way, JVM is Java Virtual Machine. I will talk about these in the later videos. Now it has been downloaded. So let's just install it. Now here is the directory at which your JDK will be installed. After the setup is completed, we need to define the system variable of Java. For this, just right click on your this PC icon and then go to its properties. Now click on advanced system settings and then go to environment variables. In system variables, click on new and in variable name type java underscore home all in capital letters and in variable value browse to the directory at which you installed your JDK the default location is C program files Java and JDK Now click OK. Click OK again to save this variable Java home as a path of your Java in the system. This will add a new system variable with name Java home whose path is defined as C program files Java and JDK. So wherever you will write Java home, your system will replace with its value. After this, find the variable path. click it to highlight this and then edit that variable in this click new and then write percentage java underscore home percentage 
backslash bin you can also check out the blog whose link is given in the description where this whole process is described step by step after declaring the path click ok our eclipse has also been downloaded you can see here a new path has been added this new path will tell your computer where your java where your jdk is located now click ok and close all these windows now it's time to unzip the eclipse files i'm moving this zip file in another folder and i will extract it there you can unzip it using winra winzip or whatever you have eclipse adds us doesn't require any installation it's an on the go kind of software just double click to launch it and you are ready to use it as in this series you are going to use it frequently so it's a nice idea to create a shortcut of this either you create a shortcut on your deck on your desktop or you can pin it to your taskbar i have pinned it in my taskbar to open this just click on the eclipse icon in the taskbar generally it takes 10 to 15 seconds in every boot so have patience and don't click the eclipse icon again and again now this is the path where your projects will be saved eclipse call it workspace you can choose any path but by default it is stored in the workspace folder located in users in c drive now this is the first look up eclipse to start your very first project just go to file then new and then select this project option now click java project in this and then hit next now here we are required to give a name to our project let's say my first project eclipse prefer to have the first letter of the project name in capital letters it will not do any harm but when you will write in small letters it will show in it will show a warning now click finish in this after this click on the package explorer and then click on the my first project to show up the hierarchy in the src folder which stands for the source folder right click on it and then click new and then go to new package now we are going to give our package a name and by default eclipse prefer to have the package name with small letters starting with small letters in this package let's make a new class in which we will write our first code and here again eclipse preferred to have the name starting with capital letter now just check this public static void main and click finish checking this box will make a main function on its own in your new class you can see the first line says package test this is the same package in which you made this class in the third line says public class hello world which is the name of this class and in this we have a main function when the compiler will compile this code it will 
first jump onto this main function. It's showing an error. I misplaced the dot with a comma. Now click on this green button to run your code. Hit OK. And you will see the output of your code in this console window. If you are not able to see this console, just go in Windows and then click on Show View and then click Console. If any line will have a syntax error in it, you will see a red cross on that line number. Now here a quick tip for you. Write SYSO, capital SY, capital S, then YSO in small and then press Ctrl plus space and then hit enter. And this whole system.out.println will be auto completed for you and you will just require to write the things that you want to print. The first time when you will do this will take a while because Eclipse will load these files in the background. But when you will do this for the second or third time it will be instantaneous. System.out.print is a statement in Java to print something. Writing ln after print will print the parameters in the next line. Let's try it one more time. Capital S Y S O control plus space then enter. And you just require to write the things that you want to print. So this was all for this video. Now we will run this. You can check this box and click OK and this will not annoy you again. So this was all for this video. I will see you in the next one. If you like this then subscribe our channel and give it a like and share it among your friends who wants to learn Java. In the next video we will see data types, variables and typecasting in Java. This whole video series is about doing competitive programming in Java and less about the development part of Java. So don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit that bell icon so that you will be notified every time when we will upload the videos. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.